Oh yeah. That's him. Is it a bass? You got him? Yeah. Oh gosh, it's Cody. That's a big one, dude. Yes. Yes, that's the one we need, buddy. That's the one we need, buddy. What is popping, people? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we got a big day because it is Cody. Mr. Cameraman Cody behind the camera. It's his first tournament today. We're fishing just a little night tournament. You know, we went out on the lake with my boy Clint. He puts on a bunch of tournaments and uh, they have these little Thursday nighters. They're from like 5.45 to nine o'clock. You got three hours to try to catch fish. So we're gonna go out here today on the Ogeechee River, see what we can do. And uh, we were out there yesterday just for a little bit. You know, we took out Monster Mike Todd, you know, big boy, and we arm wrestled him afterwards. But we were only out there for like an hour, and uh, then we spent a little bit more time later just to see if we can put something together. But I think it's going to be a little tough here at the beginning. The tide's going to be high, but it's going to be outgoing. So as the tournament goes on, I believe the bite's going to pick up a little bit better. I have a game plan in mind on where we want to be, but when we get to the lake, I'll kind of spill all that to you guys. Right now, we're rigging up some rods. So I got this right here, a little mock crush rod custom pro reel and then i have a mock 2 right here with a custom or not custom pro custom black um as well and then i have a couple kicking combos over there that we're going to be spooling up just kind of getting everything ready cody's got his rod right here we need to put some line on that and just kind of get prepared you know today i told cody you know we're just going to go out there and have fun but we're also going to put our heads down and just lay it all on the table you know we're going to fish our butts off for three hours and try to get five bass that are going to outbeat everybody so it's going to be fun i haven't fished a tournament in a long time I think it's my first tournament this year, so we're just gonna have fun with it and uh, see if we can catch some big fish. Money. That is pole number one done. Custom black, mock crush, look it's spicy. A little spinnerbait on, spinnerbait action. Got a little stinger hook on this thing as well. Usually I don't, I was just telling Cody, I don't throw them on the river because, you know, you're throwing around a bunch of, one thing we got to do, Cody, this is a very important tournament talk. <laughs> I, I was just about to hook that on and look how uh, loose my drag is. Yeah. So the last thing we want is to get out there and then be screwed, you know? Yeah, I got to. I've done it a settings. few times where I've like rigged up the night before and I go out in a tournament and I end up missing a fish because I didn't tighten my drag. The reason I usually don't throw the stinger hooks on the rivers, there's so many laydowns. When you're throwing around those, you know, you can end up getting snagged up really easy. But what I will say is if a fish isn't eating it all the way with that stinger hook, you can end up having a better hookup ratio. So there's benefits with it, especially fishing today. You know, we don't want to miss any fish. We get a bite, we want to get them in the boat. All right, we gotta whip out the chocolate chip muffins. We're about to get it started. We're about to go have some fun. Cody's first tournament ever. We're just gonna get out here, fish hard, you know, put our heads down, cover a lot of water, try to figure these bass out, and uh, hopefully catch them real good. Probably got about 15 boats out here, not too many, just a little local pot tournament. You know, I fished a few of these before, a bunch of cool guys, and just come out here, have fun, you know. It's a little meet and greet every single week, and try to compete against each other and win a little bit of cash, so. We're gonna go make it happen. You ready, Cody? I'm ready, dude. Dude, we gotta make it happen, brother. Let's get it. Your first tournament, we gotta win this thing. Oh yeah. And these chocolate chip muffins are gonna be the reason. Secret sauce. All right, we just got out to our first spot today. See, we started off full pool. The water's finally going out. I wanted to go down river over here by all this marshy stuff because what I've learned when fishing out here this water down here drops a lot quicker than the water past the bridge over there. So my gut feeling was telling me a second ago, hey, we need to go down. So we're going to fish over here for a little bit. We're going to fish fast, productive, a lot of good casts. And um, just see if we can get some fish in the boat. Anything in the first hour here, in my opinion, is a bonus. I think these fish are really going to fire up in the last hour, hour and a half, two hours. So let's go ahead and get to work and make it happen. Let's get it, Cody. Let's get it. No mistakes, brother. We're gonna capitalize, have the net ready, and we're gonna catch these fish. Oh yeah. It's 
current is whipping. All right, let's get it, brother. Oh, there, there's a bite. Dude, oh my gosh, man. How in the heck did you not hold on to that? That was a good bite, dude. Right where you're at. Might eat that worm. You could bite again. Sitting in this current like that, I mean, it had to have been a good one. Yeah, this spot just needs a little more time to ripen up. But we're gonna we're gonna fish this right here and then we'll we'll head out, hit a few main river spots, and then come back in here. There you go. <laughs> there you go. First fish. Oh my gosh, a big one. <laughs> <laughs> those aren't the ones we're looking for, Cody. Not those. Not these. Come on man, that's a 12 pounder. Ooh. Was that a bite? It looked, it felt like it, bro. Yeah, I saw your rod, yeah. I got one. That's a big one. That was a mud. That was a mud fish? Yeah. Hope it was, my bad. Uh, that's definitely a mud with those T smarts. All I felt was one tick. It wasn't like a mud bite. Yeah. It felt so good too. It was just like boom, and he had it. Dang mud fish. Oh gosh, bro, my my, he moved my whole rod, Cody. He hit it so hard. I'd say we skedaddle, Cody. We'll, we'll come back here. Um, we just, it, it needs at least another 20 minutes yeah. to get right to where these fish in position on it correctly. But it's okay. We gave it a shot, we had a few bites, but they're not on it how we, how we want them to. Yeah, we're gonna head to our second spot. See, we came over here. The water's just not low enough right now. Once I, this spot's weird. It's like when the water gets right, you can catch them really good, but you don't really want to spend too much time here. If I was just fun fishing today, I'd say, all right, we could spend about 20 minutes in this cut and let it get right, but we got to keep moving today. Keep making casts, make sure we're in the right spot. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of here, fish a few of these little main river spots that kind of looked right. See if we can just catch one or two to start off with. Oh yeah, that's him. Put it in the water. He's 12 inches. First pass, baby. First bass, buddy. All right, guys, just got our first fish of the day. Not a big one, but a little fat dude. He is going in the box right there. Got to start off somewhere. And uh, I am fine with starting off with this guy right here. Let's go. Give me something, brother to start all right so we've got our first fish today which is always one of the best feelings in the world we had two other bites there so these fish seem to be pulling up on all this stuff we're gonna hit one more spot real quick spend about 10 minutes there and then we'll come back to the spot because when you're fishing tidal water and moving water these spots tend to replenish so in five ten more minutes i could go catch a fish in the same spot that i caught that one so that's kind of the game plan we're gonna run over here and i think we can get one or two more all right cody we got our on board. first tournament bass today. The first one's always the best feeling. And then when you put number five in the box. And then when you put an eight pounder in the box. Yeah. <laughs> he was up, dude, I made that cast probably four times. Really? Yeah. Yeah. 
We'll fish here for just a couple more seconds and we have one we can run to and then we'll probably run right back to this and see if it's replenished. That's the cool thing about fishing these tidal water fisheries and rivers is these spots can replenish in five minutes, you know, with all this water moving. And that was our third bite on this spot, so there's definitely more fish here. We won't spend too much time here, but we'll fish it productively. Oh gosh, that was a big boil. I don't know what that was. Something swimming right there. Oh, I got a bite. I got him. He spit it out. He's running with it. Such a soft bite too. Should be able to get him to eat again though. Dang, that was a soft bite. And he took one of my pinchers. I don't think he had it all the way. Yeah. Oh, dude, what in the world? He pulled back on me that time. Smile. Hey, they're here, brother. This is the timing deal. Now we just got to execute on them. I had two bites. You just had, I know it's a mud, but yeah. I know. I was about to say, your rod was bent over. I looked down the nets and all that. I'm like, I saw your rod bent. I was like, ooh. Hey, cast, uh, cast up in that little spot. I'm going to show you this crawl. Is it a bass? You can flip. He might be 12. We can measure him. Out. This is actually cool for you to see. Let me know when you get him off the hook. I might, it might have just been some small ones. You flatten him down. Front lip touches up there. See, so he's only 11. Yeah. So, oh well. He won't measure. But. There you go. You got your first tournament fish. Not a keeper, but you got something. You got to start somewhere with it. Money. You got him? Yeah. Best? Yep. Good job, Cody. That was red, dude. Yeah. Living in that tannic water. Look at that. Yeah. Good job. Thanks, man. Want me to just throw him in the lava? Keep yeah. going. There we go. Cody got our second fish. Not a big one, but he'll keep. Hey, that's where I got that nice, buddy. Good job. It's your first tournament bass. Like, official. Oh, there he is. Oh, I can't walk. Dude, they're just slamming it and they're not eating it all the way. And that's exactly where I caught that first fish, like same cast. He kind of scared me when we were first doing it because he was like, yeah, you know, it's so, like a little bit of tension right here and it'll snap your arm. And I'm like, yeah, I know. oh gosh, it's Cody. That's a big one, dude. Yes. Yes, that's the one we need, buddy. That's the one we need, buddy. Get him in that net. There we go. Two pounder. As fat as can be too, dude. There should be some more up here. Yep. Look at that one, Cody. That's a good one, buddy. Awesome. It's the ones that we need. There should be another one up there. Man, I had a gut feeling. I didn't know if we should go to that spot or try it. Good thing we tried it. Look how fast that train's going. Oh my god. Yeah, I got him. 
Yeah, I'm both of them. Nice. Number four, baby. Nice. Number four, Cody. Yes. <laughs> it's crazy how these spots can turn on it instantly, ain't it? Dude, all off a gut feeling right here. We weren't even gonna fish this. We we're gonna go up. Well, I tell you like an hour ago, so just go with your gut. Yep. Yeah. That's what you gotta do in these tournaments, Bubba. He ain't as big as that last one, but he's a fish. I think he's bigger than those other two we got, but I'm not sure. That's gonna be a pain once we start calling. I'm gonna put him on my, with my other one on the right. I think he's a little bigger. I wish I had colon tags. I've been so out of the tournament scene. Yeah. Usually, what colon tags do you have these little clips? You clip on them so you can, like say our smallest one we put on like a green clip. I always put it on green, green means go. Yeah, I've been seeing them on like A-Dub's <laughs> channel. Let's yeah, see. yeah, you put a little colon. It helps so much. You know what's good is that Cypress Street's probably gonna be the same way, brother. Mm -hmm. be able to... I got one. Oh, he came off, dude. He had me over that thing. Yeah, that was number five casting there. Gosh, see, I have a little bit of stuff on there. He had me wrapped around that log. He didn't feel big, but like you see the log? Mm -hmm. He was right on that. Like kind of. Yeah. I didn't really stick him though. Get him, boy. <laughs> I don't even know if he's 12, is he? No. <laughs> that's why I'm that's why I missed him. Small guy. Got him. There's more though. <laughs> Dude, there's so many fish on this spot. Alright, we'll throw a couple more casts and then we'll go up to those trees right there. Mm -hmm. Fish those and then we'll come right back to this and it should be replenished. Yep, got him. Get the net. Number five, baby. Number five. Get her on up in there. Ooh, she gonna be close. I don't really carry away one in this size, but if she's number five, she's number five. She's 11 and a half. That's usually the hot, hot zone. Come on, give us another good pound and a half, two pounder. Or four pounder, yeah. You got him, you want both of them? I got him. That's a keeper, buddy. That's him, I think. That might be number five, we'll check. <laughs> Look how fat he is, he's just not long. Oh man. Come here, buddy. Dude, when you hook that, he seemed big. Yeah. Even after, like, after I saw how small he was, he. He the crazy thing is like how many times have we casted that? He's only eleven, ain't he? Yeah. Dang. It's all good. Oh, he's bleeding. Go ahead yeah. and throw him back. Yeah. Just kind of dip it in the water. Nice. Not the keeper we wanted, but we're picking up the pace. Yeah. I like it. Keep it going. I mean, yeah, there's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of small fish in here. You gotta, you gotta always keep, keep moving and catching them. All right, guys, we got four fish right now. One of them's not bad. The others I'd kind of like to get out of there, but for right now, we're just trying to get that one last keeper, you know, seal that five bass limit up, and then we can start worrying about colon. So now it's about that time that we're gonna head up river. It's 7.45 right now. We got about an hour, 10 minutes left. So we're gonna give it all we got, guys. I think we can, uh, one, finish out our limit, and two, pull out some of those small ones and put us in a good position. Dude, what in the heck? Oh my gosh. Mud. It's a mud. I think so. Oh, dude, I thought you had a big bass, bro. You got her, you want me to help you? Can you get by her? Oh, 
Oh man, I thought you had a big bass. Oh, you got them perfect too. Stop. There's no way. Oh! <laughs> oh! It snapped my hook, but my weight just slingered me. Look at it, it's right here, dude. I think it literally felt like a bullet. Oh! Dude, dude. Yeah, I got him. I don't even think he's on measure. He had me wrapped around. Yeah, had me wrapped around that log. Barely hooked. Yeah, I like Hook said he felt big, but it's had me around it. Looks like they're all heading there. Yeah. Probably just head in there. He said nine, nine fifteen is nine right now. It is dark. I gave it our all. I mean, you can't. Can't see we didn't. I threw it all on the table, so. I just, if we would have stayed on that end, I think we would have. Yeah. All right, guys, we just got back to the boat ramp and uh, about to put the boat on the trailer. We still have our fish in our live well. We have four, which we don't have much weight at all. And we haven't really talked to anybody with much weight. Clint has a limit. Um, right when we pulled out of the spot, he said he went in there and just started smoking them. So, man, we had fun. Did you have fun, Cody? I had a lot of fun. First tournament? Yeah. Learned a good bit. I mean, for us to come out here for the first time on your first tournament and almost catch the limit, it just sucks to not seal that deal, bro. Yeah. Even if it was just a little 12-inch, I would like... Plus, we've never fished here together oh, man. either. So No, we haven't. I mean, we haven't fished out here in like... I haven't fished out here rather than one time with Alan Bob in like... I want to say eight months so i mean we, we came out here covered a lot of water and had a good time and i just enjoyed it man i love fishing these little tournaments like this i wish we could have done better but um i guess we'll see what ends up winning it yeah either way i had a good time bro thanks for bringing me out heck yeah bro we'll do it again oh that's a pretty one dude 10 pounds leading yeah i probably won't weigh much All right, guys, these are our fish right here. Only probably have about six pounds. 10 pounds ended up winning, I believe. I'm gonna go to confirm, but I'm not gonna go weigh them in. I'm just gonna release them and get them back in the water all healthy. Man, I had a good time though. Yeah, that was fun. That's cool, dude. We need to come do some of these uh, Tuesday, Thursday night or some more. Go swim for you, buddy. <laughs> it's so slippery, dude, from the side going down. Well guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you guys want to see some more tournament videos, let your boy know. Um, we had a good time, man. It was Cody's first tournament. You know, we didn't get a limit. Sadly, we had four, which is, I just really wanted to get a limit today. Um, but uh, it seems like everybody had a hard time with getting some good fish today. So can't be mad about it. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.